Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 of our Road to Glory, and yes, Footchamps is here, so this episode is just a bunch of highlights, uh, mostly just essentially my goals out of the games I've won, and yeah, we hit our goal, we hit gold 3, this was the goal we set, you know, at the start of last episode, we needed this so that our weekly rivals wasn't as stressful, we got to 2000 points for Footchamps, which means we're qualified for next Footchamps, so essentially it's perfect, you know, the, during the week I can focus on doing other objectives, um, possibly other um, challenges like the silver challenges and all that and you know just enjoy the game during the week but yeah with gold 3 obtained we're gonna call this another successful well, not another but our first successful weekend league so we're one for one and yeah I'm super happy honestly I played um, quite good at some points and quite badly at others let's just say I was super inconsistent uh, I took down um, essentially all my scores and all my papers and all that and in the end, I'll do a summary recap of goals scored, goals conceded, and my win, essentially all my like wins and losses displayed from 1 to 30, because I did end up playing all 30 games. Because, as you guys will see at the end of the video, I'll leave um, the final two games fully cut, like like full cuts, because I needed two wins to get goal three, and I had two games left. And we managed to clutch it out, so I just feel like it's important for me to just show it, essentially, the final two games, because, you know, I was pretty happy with the result and it took you know a lot of brain power to play 30 games against really good players and really good teams in weekend league so this brings me to my next point nobody will be consistent for 30 games unless you're a professional player you can't whack 30 games which you can whack like 30 games in one day fair enough you know good on you you probably won't even need 30 wins to like get your goal and all that but if you're an average player like myself I say split it up, if you can do maybe 10 per day, because weekend league is over 3 days, then do that. And then the games where let's say you lose, go take a break, go take a walk, like it's not, it's just a game, it's not life. Yes, of course you want to get the best rewards and all that, but just remember, there's always next weekend and the stuff like that, and there's always a weekend that you can always do better in. So I guess don't be too hard on yourselves, because you're playing against essentially the better end of players on FIFA 21. So honestly, there's no shame at all in getting like, let's say kicked. 5 nil, 6 nil, because you probably got like high MMR because of your last couple wins. So, you know, you're going to face players that are really, really good. You're going to face players that are good, but not as good. And, you know, you'll be lucky. Sometimes, you know, EA will be on your side. You'll get a lucky rebound, a rebound, a lucky deflection and all that. But then a lot of times it'll feel like it's always against you. And honestly, just, you know, try focus until like the end of the game. And then once you're at the end of the game, go take a break, go take a walk, go, I don't know, get, get a drink or something. Because it's just a game and it's not good. You're not going to play good FIFA if you're always tilted. I say this based off just like personal experiences. Because for me, I want to essentially get... I used to always want to do, do like do well. This has never changed. But like from now on, since I'm making videos, I want to do you know somewhat decently for you guys so I can get decent rewards. So that's why it's like an extra pressure on my shoulders. And I don't want to end up with like silvers, you know, silver score lines and all that. Not score lines, but like ranks and all that. Because I know it's kind of embarrassing when you have other content creators which hit like elite with like you know ease but you know i'm just trying to represent i guess the average fifa player so you know this is just for fun for me and i hope you know you guys don't be too harsh on me with the results we obtain but yeah so um what's another big issue that i faced in weekend league is um trying to change formation essentially i stuck with 442 and 4321 for practically all my games I was really tempted to change, and if I did change, it was only during games where I was down like 4 or 5 nil. Because I was like, alright, it's not working, may as well just try something new. But otherwise, if it's like a really tight game, don't try change up, because this is a style of football that you know how to play. You know how to play this game, you know where your players are going to be. If you change it up, it's just going to be different. Like, don't think like suddenly you're just going to, you know, everything is going to click perfectly, because it's not. I've played, I think, over 120 games within these three formations, and I still like find games where I just can't break down anybody. Which brings me to a next point. I personally cannot play against mirrored formation. So if most players in this game will play 4-4-2 or 4-2-3-1. And essentially, I have to play the opposite. Whenever I see a squad that's starting off with a 4-4-2, I immediately go attacking to play my 4-2-3-1 because I just can't face it essentially against another person with the same formation as I as my skills in terms of as a FIFA player are much weaker than another player. So I'm not gonna bother, you know, going one-on-one -on -one for him. So I change it up, like just try find like, I guess, mechanisms in which you can like put yourself in a, at an advantage and try abuse those. Secondly, if you can sense a player is tilted or likes to dive into challenges a lot, you know, you gotta use that. You gotta use that like against him. 
Because yes, it's, you know, you've been on the receiving end of like, oh, nothing's working for me, so I'm just going to start diving into everything. And what does the opponent do? He's just going to play it slow, dodge your tackle, and then he's in on goal. So essentially, think about it on the other side of things. Use that against them. If they're tilted, so you sense like they're throwing to challengers, you know, you can potentially turn your back against them, get a player sent off, and that's just not going to help the situation. So it's like a lot of mind games and all that. I would say if you're like 1-0 or 2-0 in the lead, start playing really, really slow, because this will just force him to come out of his deep lines and then start like pressing and push, putting tackles in. You break that initial line of pressure and then you're in on goal. As you can see, a lot of my goals are based off counterattacks. My style of FIFA is really not good for this meta. I used to always like the quick, fast buildup and stuff like that from previous FIFAs. And this FIFA is just, it's not that at all. The meta is playing slow, keeping the ball, swinging it from side to side in order to create space on the wings. And I've, you know, had to, I guess, give up my style of FIFA that I love playing to be a meta slave because everybody's a meta slave in foot champs. Everybody's playing super sweaty and you just have to. It's not going to be enjoyable, but you just have to if you want to be somewhat competitive. Unless you're like a super good skiller and all that, you know, by all means you can play the style of FIFA you want. But if you're not necessarily the best at FIFA like myself, you gotta play the meta. You gotta buy meta players, which is another point. You need meta players, you need fast pace, you need pace everywhere. This game is stupid. Honestly, I'm so grateful I changed um, Joe Gomez for Laporte. Otherwise, I think I would have not hit the 12, no, 14 wins that we needed. And honestly, I think the most difficult thing about the way Foot Champs is set out is that a lot of the good players will try to play early on the first day. So, which I don't suggest you guys start off early on the first day because, you know, you don't want to be faced against pros and like, you know, real content creators who just want to bash up the games early on. Or at the very end. So the final final days, late, like second half of the final day and first half of the first day, I'd say is no-no. If you're an average player, don't bother. It's not gonna work you're just gonna face two good players and it's just gonna be really painful because usually these are like streamers who will instantly stream once it starts so you don't want to you know come up against them which brings brings me to my next point if you're winning a few games in a row you're gonna have to expect harder opponents because they're trying to set i believe that they try set like records that are somewhat equal to each other at the same level so if you're let's say you're up like three three nil and you're probably gonna like three games out of three your, your next opponent's probably going to be somebody that's either like 4 out of, out of 4 or like 2 out of 2 or like somebody that's also doing equally as well. Which is why, don't give up. If you have a goal, let's say your goal, no matter what your goal is, bronze 3, silver 1, silver 2, elite 3, it, like, it doesn't matter what your goal is. Just play all 30 games if you have to. Because you will come up against opponents that have the same, I guess, scores that they've obtained as you. And honestly, this will balance out the playing field and make it more enjoyable and you'll feel like, you know, you'll be more competitive in those games and you'll be able to obtain the goals. Which is why you don't give up. In, in, no matter what situation in life, you never give up. Because in the end, if, you know, if you keep persisting and you keep trying, you keep training, you keep playing, you play hard all the way until the end, it will pay off like I did for, my, like I did for myself. And of course, there's luck on my side. But honestly, these last two games were so much easier. With all due respect to the op opponents, but they were so much easier than my first, let's say, 20. The first 20, you'd find teams with like Mbappe, Neymar, and, all, and the, <laughs> my team is already really good. Like, I understand that my team is quite decent. But then there's teams with like icons, Mbappe, Neymar, and like, you know, the real like top, top players in FIFA 21. And it's just, it's really tough. You're gonna just get frustrated, but you know, I kept, it, I kept a strong mindset and I'm like, you know, we're going to face easier teams, easier opponents later on, so it's okay. Because essentially from, I believe, games 10 to 25, most of my games were L's. Like, most of my wins were at the very start. Um, very start, I had a couple wins, then I had a couple losses and a huge face, so essentially I'm not consistent at all. Then during the middle of the pack, I think I had up to like 4 to 5 wins in a row, and then I took like 7 L's in a row or something like that. So yeah, like, you know... <laughs> You just gotta push until the end and hopefully you reach the goals. So yeah, but the final two games, we were two wins off from our goal three. So we were at, I believe, 12 wins and we needed 14 and we were 28 games played. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so frustrated. Like my last seven games, I was throwing, I was listening to music. I could have just focused. Oh my God, I'm not gonna reach my goal. It's gonna be embarrassing and all that. But I tried to play all the games you guys can probably saw. see, and we won the first one 3-1, and then the next game, um, pretty comfortable, 3-0 victory, because our opponent rage quit, because honestly, you know, once you're 3-0 down, you know, you're not going to come back if you feel like your opponent's much, much better. But that's about it, guys, um, yeah, I'll let the rest of the clips play out, I'll show you guys a highlight of all of our scores, and I think the MVP for this 
weekend league will probably have to be Sun. Sun is honestly just really, really good. And our super sub, Hakimi. Really good at breaking down opponents that are slower and like more tired with fatigue. And he's a big difference maker. Like super subs are really important. Make sure you have to at least, let's say, basically get three super subs that you know they can bring on and have an instant impact with their speed and their like ability to create space and all that. But yeah, that's it, guys. Honestly, crazy weekend league. Hope you guys enjoyed somewhat like the highlights and all that. And I hope you guys, you know, your weekend leagues went well. Let me know how well you guys did. What's your goal for the next one? And maybe, I guess, the amount of goals you scored versus the amount of goals you conceded. Because that's always interesting to see. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the content, the highlights of our couple foot champ games. Um, from now on, we're going to do two videos per week. Hopefully try to, at least. One for foot champs and like sort of this similar format to this. And then the other one for just content during the week. This could be SPCs, objectives, maybe like for next week will be Rule Breaker or Mukieli. We'll try to achieve that. We'll try to do a couple SPCs, I think, because there's a couple good like value for money ones. But yeah, so this is essentially what you can expect from our FIFA content. content. Hope you guys enjoyed it, everybody. Take care, you know, a lot of love for everybody out there. Peace. See you guys in the next episode.